So in this section, we are going to consider these five differential equations. Now what we are going to do is to find the order and degree of these differential equations. So let's start by defining the two terms. What is the order of a differential equation and what is the degree of a differential equation? Now talking about the order of a differential equation, the order of a differential equation is the order of the highest derivative in the differential equation. Now let's consider the first example. You have the fourth derivative of y with respect to x plus sine of the third derivative of y with respect to x equals zero. Now if you want to find the order of this differential equation, we are saying that the order is the order of the highest derivative in the differential equation. We have two derivatives here. We have this to be the fourth derivative and then the third derivative. Now out of these two, which of them is the highest? We know that the fourth derivative is the highest. Hence, we say that the order of this differential equation is 4. Now, let's move on and find the degree of this differential equation. Now, the degree of a differential equation is the power to which the highest order derivative is raised if the differential equation is a polynomial equation in its derivatives. We are saying that the degree of a differential equation is the power to which the highest order derivative is raised if the differential equation is a polynomial equation in its derivative that is y prime y prime prime y prime 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 and so on and so forth so if you want to find the degree of this differential equation the first thing you are going to do is to locate the highest order derivative which is this one and then you try to figure out the power to which that derivative is raised to. However, looking at this differential equation, you realize that you have sign of the derivative of the dependent variable. Now in this differential equation, we have y to be the dependent variable and then x to be the independent variable. Now in any given differential equation, if you have the trick that is either the trick log or e to the power of the derivative of the dependent variable then we say that that differential equation is not a polynomial equation in its derivatives. Now, in this differential equation, looking at this term, you realize that we have the trig of, or better still, the sign of the derivative of the dependent variable y. Hence, this differential equation is not a polynomial equation in its derivatives. Now, in that case, we say that the degree of such a differential equation is not defined. So that is undefined. Now let's move on to the second example. Here we have the differential equation y prime plus 5y equals 0. Now to find the order of this differential equation, looking at this differential equation, you realize that we have only one derivative. That is the first derivative of y with respect to probably x. Now in this case, that becomes the highest order derivative and hence the order of this differential equation is one. Now to the degree. Since we do not have either the log, the trig or e to the power of the derivative of the dependent variable, you realize that this is a polynomial equation in its derivatives. Hence, we first locate the order of the highest derivative which is y prime and then the power to which y prime is raised to you realize that the power is one hence the degree of this differential equation is also one now to the third example here we have the first derivative and then we have the second derivative now out of these two which of them is the highest you realize that the second derivative is the highest Therefore, the order of this differential equation is equal to 2. Now to the degree. To find the degree, we first of all locate the highest order derivative, which is this one, and the power to which that highest order derivative is raised to. Now the power to which this derivative is raised to 
S1. Therefore, we have the degree of this differential equation to be 1. Now to the fourth example. To find the order of this differential equation, here also we have two derivatives. We have this to be the second derivative and then the first derivative. Now, you realize that if you want to find the highest order derivative, then that is the second derivative. So that is equal to 2. Now, just to clarify one or two things. For the third example, you realize that talking about the order, we had this to be first derivative, this to be second derivative. Now, if you want to find the order, you only focus on the derivative itself, not any other exponent outside of it. So you only focus on the derivative itself. So this is the second derivative and this is the first derivative. Therefore, the order is 2 because the second derivative is the highest order derivative. Now also for example 4, we have two derivatives. We have the second derivative and the first derivative. Once the second derivative is the highest, then we say that the order is 2. Now for the degree. Here you realize that we have cosine of the derivative of the dependent variable here. Hence, this differential equation is not a polynomial in its derivatives. Hence, we say that this differential equation, or better still, the degree of this differential equation is undefined. Now to the last example. Here we have only one derivative, which is the second derivative. Hence, that becomes the highest order derivative. Therefore, the order of this differential equation is 2. To the degree, you realize here that you have cosine of 3x and then sine of 3x. Now, even though we have trig functions or better still trig identities here, we have the trig identities or trig functions of the independent variable. Now, if you should have cosine of the derivative of the dependent variable, then it means that this differential equation is not a polynomial equation in its derivatives. However, since we have cosine and then sine of the independent variable, then this differential equation is a polynomial equation in its derivatives. Hence, to find the degree, you first locate the highest order derivative and the power on it is 1. Therefore, we have the degree of this differential equation to be 1. So notice that whenever you have a differential equation which has the trig log or e to the power of the derivative of the dependent variable, then that differential equation is not a polynomial equation in its derivatives and hence has its degree to be undefined. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.